Hey, this is a little video I throw together for go over the terrain I used for one of the last sessions, uh, session 47, that I ran for Castles and Crusades. So we'll start off with this here. This is uh, the slaver hideout that I built out of uh, Warlock tiles. So the thing I like about the Warlock tiles is they're actually lined up incorrectly right now, but... Um, um i like the full wall sets i don't really care for the half wall sets i got a couple when they were when they first came out and they're decent but i like the full wall sets because i can stack them and um which is what i did with this build so we had this level here was the ground floor you have your door here set of stairs here and i told the players because i couldn't really replicate it on the map uh, on the build that there was a set of stairs under here that led to the basement um Inside had a bunch of different stuff. I wish I could remember where I got this. This is a resin fireplace that I got and painted. Um, pretty neat little piece. And um, miniatures. Uh, these tables, most of these tables, uh, these tables are also Warlock tiles. So they're just from their extra set of tables that I have over on the shelf with some chairs just to add a little bit of dressing. The stairs are all from... The Warlock tile sets. Weapon rack. This is some sort of whiz kit. This came from something from whiz kids. I don't remember what. But threw that in there because this is where the bad guys hang out. Um, these wine barrels were also, I believe, whiz kids. I think I painted those. I have some that are painted and unpainted, so I don't really remember. Um, over here, same setup. Uh, Warlock tiles, full height walls um that table these tables are from whiz kids same with the weapon rack um there was a ladder here that came from whiz kids the trunks are i don't know where those are from uh some of them are 3d prints um that's a 3d print i think this is a i don't know somebody makes that made in china that's a whiz kids product um the beds are 3D prints. I don't know where they came from. One of my players uh, actually gave those to me. Like he bought a bunch and then he decided he wasn't going to paint stuff. So um, he gave me uh, all these beds, which are great because they, they add filler. When I first started using terrain like door and forge and stuff, which we'll get into that build in a second, I didn't really have a lot of stuff to put in it. And at first it wasn't to me, and it isn't really a big deal, but to me like Part of the builds is the presentation of the build so when i get i put out something really uh that uh turns out to be really cool and we actually have to pause the game for a couple of minutes while players take pictures of it i to me that's part of the juice of running games so um some people might not like that but i do appreciate it guys appreciate it so um when i started with this stuff i didn't have like any filler really so, like, we'd have these dungeons, and I'd build out these dungeons, but there was really nothing in them. And, you know, I would describe stuff, but, like, it was nice to have, like, a little physical representation in the game. So I started actually collecting filler pieces and beds and tables and chests and stuff to put in the thing just to kind of dress it up, fireplaces and stuff like that. It adds a little bit to the uh, of detail to the build. <coughs> Excuse me. So this room had a trap door here which are just simulated with this uh, ladder. And um, if you watch the recap, it, in the recap, it uh, explained how they dealt with that, or some of the players dealt with that. This was the upper level of uh, the hideout. So this has some resin printed tables. And again, I wish I could remember where I got these from, but um, these, some of them are a little uh, dinged up because they get used. So the paint's chip. maybe at some point I'll go through them all and touch them up like this overstuffed chair is taking a beating but uh um i guess that's a downside if you're using uh stuff you got to paint for that sort of stuff it's going to get bounced around knocked over more so than a lot of other terrain does i think but i mean if you can find the stuff pre-painted and it's affordable i would recommend grabbing that but the resin stuff is nice it's good quality it's just the paint takes a beating um so here over here we have my uh, the basement area, and this is pretty much, yep, everything here is from Dwarven Forge aside from the miniatures. Um, this is from uh, their uh, Dungeons of Doom set, which uh, is the only Kickstarter of theirs I've ever backed, and um, 
I backed it for quite a bit and um, afterwards I ended up, they, they used to sell each, uh, it was done out as encounters and I was able to back to a certain encounter and then I ran out of money and then later on, once the Kickstarter uh, released and it was on their site, they used to have it set up so you could buy each encounter. So I just went through and bought the rest of the encounters I, as I had the money to do so. So I have the whole collection of Dungeon of Doom. Uh, really, I use it the most. Um, I love their cavern stuff. That's actually become one of my new favorites. Uh, I keep adding to my collection of caverns and maybe... If anybody's interested, I can do a video on that. I have the old caverns and the newer stuff. I don't have like the whole caverns of doom or whatever they called it, but I have tons of stuff, a lot of stuff from the, uh, those uh, caverns of doom, which was really cool. I was kind of hoping they were going to sell them the same way they did dungeons of doom. I'm, and I'm probably screwing up these names. Dungeons of doom is right. Caverns of doom might not be. Um, and I could buy the sets afterwards as they went. And they did do that for a while, and then they kind of went away from that. But I just bought, like, stuff, uh, different sets that they put out afterwards, and uh, it's really good stuff. Um, anyway, back to this build. So this is my poor man's sewer build, because uh, Dwarven Forge makes sewer tiles, but I don't have any of them. My buddy Carl has uh, quite a few of them, and I've played in games where he's used them, and they are awesome. I just haven't picked up any. So, um... I built this out of their terrain tiles. Um, this is, I don't remember what this one is. This one I think is actually really good for using as like sewerage. It's like their wilderness and quagmire or something. So the quagmire part I found, I think is really good um, for a sewer. So this is what this was, a sewer canal. Um, miniatures are mostly, well, they're a mix. They're Reaper miniatures and uh, uh, a company from Cyborg Miniatures. This is actually a Hero Forge miniature. That is my friend Steve who plays Ronan. That's his miniature. He forgot it. Um, Steve bought that, printed it, and painted it. Did a pretty good job. Looks cool. It's good to see uh, Ronan's uh, evolution because uh, uh, the one I have him, he's like a pig farm when he was fresh off the pig farm. So, uh, that's a little more evolved version of Ronan. Um, but yeah, the prisoners were kept in here, auctioned here, and then ferried out of this place through the sewers through this tunnel. There was, uh, I didn't have them on the board. I, I have a little ones that I could have used, but um, I had described to them that there was boat, a few boats out here, little small boats, and they would use the sewers to get out of the city with the slaves that were sold off. Um, yeah, really good, a simple build. Uh, this is from their city build. This is actually, uh, I love Dwarven Forge stuff, but these are actually the worst Dwarven Forge pieces I've ever got. I bought like a bunch of them and less than half of them actually work. Um, the pillars, hopefully they'll make some new ones. They, they probably already have. I mean, they have so much stuff, but uh, um, they look good. Um, if you get some that work, they're great, but they're probably, this one works actually. So like I said, it's pretty cool. And you can take these lights out and put different ones in like, they have orbs and lanterns and stuff like that. And they're all interchangeable, which is a really neat idea. I think these are just early on in Dwarven Forge's uh, company history. This is this their first city Kickstarter. Not the most recent one they did. This is like the first one they ever did. Or the castle. Maybe it's a castle. I'm not sure which. I just picked them up on the site. Um, but uh, they look good. They just uh, sometimes they're a little wonky to use. But yeah, all these tiles, these tiles are pretty neat. Um, I know Dwarven Forge took heat for these a little bit from long-term Dwarven Forge fans because uh, like their old cavern stuff, I don't have any of that, but it, really nice. They're resin, the rivers, they look very cool, look, look really good. They're very organic looking, but they're super expensive to get now because they don't make them anymore. Um, I really like the negative space. These have a metal sheet in them. And so Dwarven Forge pieces are magnetized for the most part, especially the, any of the newer stuff is magnetized. So it has a magnet in the bottom. So I can put it up there, put it on here. Works pretty good. Um, when I was doing uh, games at my local game store, I was helping run games there. When I first started, I would make these big builds and I literally put them on like a big sheet of uh, two inch insulation foam and then shrink wrap it, the build to it. So when I could throw it in my car and drive it to the store it would stay relatively intact and i hadn't really invested in using these tiles these negative space tiles that much terrain tiles and i had some but i just didn't use them and then i started experimenting with them and found how very good they were i mean i so i could make builds and sections and then transport them to the game store and it worked pretty well you'd have a little jostling but it was 
couple seconds to fix it. Not a big deal, really helpful. And then the different um, designs and stuff you can really build. They have everything. I have a stack of them over there. But like for this, I use the swamp, uh, the quagmire. This is a, uh, I think this is a cavern water one. I just threw that in there as a little extra. I ran out of those other ones, but um, really, really cool uh, design. Um, and that's the thing like with Dwarven Forge is it's uh, my friend, like my friend Carl has a bunch of it. I got him hooked on it. Um, after he played in one of our uh, gaming weekend sessions that we have every year. And I had filled, a, we were using a ping pong uh, table uh, for our gaming table. And I had a build that covered the whole thing. And then that was, I think, his first real exposure to Dwarven Forge. And then he went home and spent a lot of money on <laughs> getting Dwarven Forge stuff, which we both continued to do. So um, it's really, it's good stuff. And the fun thing about it is... Um, you really can build a lot of stuff. You just got to like experiment with it. And I, I've been recently watching uh, Dwarven Forge put out videos for the, they're kind of re-releasing a lot of the Dungeons of Doom with different paint schemes and some new pieces. Um, and I watched their build videos and, and I watched, I actually actually watched a old build video on cavern passages and I have a bunch of that stuff and I learned stuff like, oh, I didn't know that piece could be used for that. And it's really neat. So you can really build a lot of cool stuff. You just got to, play around with it i call it my adult legos so um it works pretty good and it's uh this new stuff is fairly durable uh, you can get some bending of pieces like these pieces i like these but if you're not careful with them uh the way you store them they, they can bend but you can fix them uh and they're pretty durable like you can you know pick it up throw it down and it um it's uh it, they can take a really good beating whereas like um I have some other stuff, Hearst Arts, and which is great stuff because you can really customize what you want to build. And I use that stuff for specific builds that I use to incorporate in terrain pieces and stuff. But I would not pick it up and throw it down like that because it's even the dental stone stuff, you'll chip it and it's a, it can be a, a kind of a mess. I've, I've broken some of the stuff, but it is really good stuff if you're looking to be more hands on with your creating and crafting of uh, terrain and it, you can use it it's good stuff i have i can do a video on those if anybody's interested because i have a crap ton of molds for her starts and that's my friend carl's fault because he uh, got into that stuff before i did i was always interested but i never made the leap and then he was doing it and suckered me into it and i bought a ton of molds and i use them i do use them quite a bit but um that's enough of this ramble, I guess. It's a little longer than I thought it was going to be. But, yeah, if anybody has any questions about this build or any other types of builds, um, fire them away. And thanks for watching.